Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. This is episode three, playing through on the campaign as the Union Army on Civil War Gettysburg. If you didn't see the first two uh, episodes of this series, you can go ahead and uh, click on the link down in the description that will take you back to the first uh, video. This is kind of a first look. This is my very first time ever playing through the campaign on this game. Uh, so you can see these are my current objectives, and they change as the game goes on. And there are a lot of different ways you can play the campaign, so this is the, the way that I started. And uh, right now we have to hold Cemetery Ridge until the end of turn 36, hold Little Round Top from turn 25, destroy 80% of the enemy army, do not lose 70% of your army. So that's kind of where we're at right now. And we'll take a look at the situation as it exists at the moment. You can see my army. Uh, and where we're kind of placed, we've got some units out here, way out in front, uh, just trying to engage. I believe this is probably Longstreet's assault as it's coming in. I'm holding basically the traditional Union line around the fish hook here with a little break up to a little round top. And we're continuing to uh, move units forward. So I've already pretty much taken my turn this time around. You can see there's very little I can still do. So we're going to hit end turn and go ahead and let... Let this play out. See where the Confederates are engaging me first. Looks like it's down here. Now we're up here. All right, we're driving those guys off. It looks like he's lost a lot. Uh, not a very successful attack happening for him at Cemetery Hill right now. And I've got plenty of backup. Uh, even when he moves more units in, I should be able to be able to drive them off pretty handily, I would think. I'm sending more units up just to make sure that I hold this position, but I think I'm pretty strong at the moment. I should be good to go. I don't really see what's happening because a lot of his lines are still in darkness right now. This is turn 25. He's gotten more reinforcements. That'll continue to happen. He's probably getting Pickett's division at this point, I would guess. All right, we'll start up here on the right flank and work our way around. I'm trying to... Uh, get up and around on his flank here. It hasn't quite happened yet, but we're for the first time going to be able to attack uh, with this unit. And we're just going to keep firing on these artillery pieces until we wear them out. This guy's going to be pretty well wiped out. Especially after, after they're done with him. Bye-bye. All right, nice. So things are looking good over here on my right flank, certainly. Uh, and then we're going to start softening up the middle now. He's kind of behind this fence a little bit, so that's helping him some. Making it a little bit harder for me. Can I merge them? No, I guess not. They're already merged with somebody. Nice, very nice. I unlocked a Nerves of Steel achievement. Okay, cool. I'm hitting this unit because it's a little stronger than this one. I don't want to wipe out that unit because then he can move up the stronger one in its place. The longer I can keep them bottled up behind, the better. All right, and there's not really anything I can do with these guys behind here. Uh, so we're going to continue to move units into position to kind of hold this location here. Uh, let's go ahead and change these guys over to battle formation. Should be in a nice, strong position all the way along the line here. Let's get these guys. Oh, I can't switch them over yet. I'll do it next turn. There we go. I'm going to merge these guys right in with this infantry here. We'll bring General Meade, our uh, overall commander, to bring him right up into the middle of the line here. Uh, I still I, I feel like I probably need to have more on Little Round Top than I do. But hopefully we'll be okay for now. Kind of hold everybody else right where they are at the moment. These guys are just kind of slowing things down for the Union or for the Confederates right now. Let's get General Sickles back a little bit. 
And here come some reinforcements. One more turn, they'll be in position. And the rest, I guess we pretty much just sit tight and let him come, come into me. I guess we can fire with them. There we go. All right, I think that's pretty well it. Uh, we'll just move reinforcements now. A bunch more artillery coming up. And I think that's it. I don't see any other reinforcements that came in. All right, let's move on. I think we start down here, don't we? Yep, he's moving. He's he's. That's fine. I expected him to do that. I've got plenty, I think, up here to defend Little Round Top. If not, these guys will certainly keep things going. Let's see what's happening here. All right, he lost a unit, so he moved somebody into that position. More, he's got he's got a lot of guys behind too. So there's a lot of combat going to continue to happen here on Cemetery Hill. Which historically did see some combat, but I don't know that it was as fierce as it was um, on the flanks or in the center right over here on July 3rd. But certainly there was some combat that took place up here. More reinforcements arrived for the Confederates. But we're starting to even the odds now. Okay. Again, we'll start on this side. It looks like I got some reinforcements, some cavalry. So that's cool. Um, well, let me move these guys first. Actually, I'm just going to fire with them. And then I'll go ahead and move the cavalry. This artillery is kind of sitting here all by his lonesome self. Oh, I'm disappointed it won't let me fire on him. There we go. Bye-bye. Ah, disappointed. Didn't finish him off. So we're just kind of working our way right down the line here as far as all the firing goes. Nobody can fire there. And again, I, okay, he's got one and one right here, so I want to, I guess I have to attack one of them at this point. There we go. Now he'll move this nine up into here, but I'm still pretty strong right there, so that's totally fine. Um, actually, I'm going to move these guys up. There we go. And I might drop them back, uh, but I can't at the moment. They're they already fired, so they're kind of stuck there for now. I think everybody else will keep right where they are. I'll move these guys up a little bit. But we're just going to hang tight right down here, even though nothing really is happening at the moment. Uh, it's going to happen at some point. Let's see. I guess I'll just keep these guys right here. Let's bring General Tyler up. He's a, I think he was the artillery commander for the Union. Okay, now we continue our firing here. I'm actually going to move these guys up even a little. No, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's move these guys up. Bye-bye. I just want to keep engaging these guys here so it keeps them from being able to advance up further this way. go. I think we'll kind of sit tight there. We'll move these guys up. Not in a position to fire there though. You can see kind of where they can see and where they can't. So that's fine. I'll move these guys up. I'm going to keep them right where they're at. I think these guys have all moved already. Little round top, I'm going to stay where I am. Um, I almost feel like I want to shift these guys, but they're close enough that I can move them if I get into trouble up in here, but I think I'm okay for now. Let me make sure I'm not missing any other units that I haven't moved. All right, I think we're solid. It's the middle of the day now. It's turn 27. Let's take a look at the objectives. They're still the same. Hold Cemetery Ridge until the end of th turn 36. Keep on holding Little Round Top, which I currently do. Here we go. Ooh, he just took out that unit there. That's fine. 
I'm still in a position of strength. So I, I'm sure he's got more units over in here that I can't see. This is Longstreet's assault on July 2nd on the right flank. Yeah, you can see units moving back here. That's fine. Hopefully they're moving up towards Cemetery Ridge and I'll surprise them when he gets there. More reinforcements for the Confederates. Man, they're getting a steady stream of those. All right, let's start on the left side here because we're already here. Catch these guys while they're skirmishing. Crossing the creek. Didn't really do anything to them, though. Oh, that's disappointing. Much better. Now yeah, we're going to hang tight here. I yeah, still can't hit these guys here either. I guess it's because uh, they're on the other side of this hill. We'll wait until they move, and then I'll be able to hit them. Oh, can't hit them either. That's because I, I guess, because I moved into a skirmish situation. They're coming up here. They're getting closer to Little Round Top. That's fine. I'm going to have a bunch more artillery waiting for them when they get there. Keep these guys steady right where they are, and then let's begin firing here. Bye bye. Okay, these guys I'm going to pull out. And we're bringing these guys in. New, fresh, solid unit ready for combat. Okay, as you can see now, it looks like I've actually taken an advantage now in terms of um, the available units. For a long time, he had a big advantage there in that area. All right, light attack, light cavalry attacking artillery in a ditch or stream. So these are all the modifiers. The total is minus four. Three attacks each with a 25% chance of success. So probably not ideal. I guess maybe we, we go here first. There we go. Yeah, that works. All right, so I'm going to send the cavalry this way. We'll cross further upstream, I guess. Let's move up ahead a little bit. I think I've fired with pretty much everybody that I can. I'm going to move my general. I'm gonna, oh, they must have already moved. I'll, I'll move these guys up next turn. All right, I guess that's about it. Confederate turn 28 now. Oh, man, you really advanced with your artillery and tried to attack? Ooh, okay. Well, I knew that was a possibility. We're ready to move some folks into that position. All right, he's got a unit that's right at the uh, edge of Little Round Top now. It's Anderson's Brigade. I think Anderson's Brigade historically actually attacked Cemetery Ridge down this way a little further. But here we go. Let's see if he's in position where we can attack him yet. Not quite yet. It's going to be one more turn. He gets a little further up the hill. We'll be able to hit him. I think I'll keep these guys right there for now. Not quite going to have this artillery in place, but they're getting there. I could actually have a little fun here. Start firing at him from back here. So he'll be getting hit from two different sides. Oh man, that kind of stinks. Still can't hit these guys because of where they are. So I'd say at this point it's going pretty well. A lot better than it started out when I first started playing this campaign. Got a lot of units on Cemetery Ridge that haven't even been touched yet. Let's get across the water here. Hopefully pretty soon I'll get a better, gl better glimpse of what's happening out there.
this is the 11th core that's holding strong on cemetery hill definitely doing much better for themselves than um the 11th corps did historically at the battle of gettysburg i don't blame the 11th corps for that uh it was a difficult situation they were placed on the right flank of the union army north of town got overwhelmed but it wasn't a good back-to-back -back battles for oliver howard the 11th corps commander uh he had been the one who had been primarily taking the brunt of stonewall jackson's flanking attack at chancellorsville and then two months later he gets overrun here at Gettysburg. So, bad couple of days for him. All right, we'll see what happens. We'll take a couple more turns here, and then we'll wrap this thing up. And I think, hopefully, the next episode should be where we finish this thing. But I don't know how exactly how long this campaign will go. I don't even know where the firing's happening right now. There we go. I think he's going to keep throwing things at my flanks. He's still rushing units up here into the center. Okay, he's on the bottom of a little round top now. I definitely ought to be able to fire on him at this point. Okay, here we go. Let's see. No. Okay, we got to wait until he gets a little bit closer. I'm going to move these guys. There we go. That kind of stinks. I can't fire on him from up there. There we go. I could move, yeah, I guess I can move up from here if I want. No, not anymore. We'll leave these guys where they are. i got to shift them. Some, uh, some ammo issues, obviously, here. I wonder if there's a way to supply. I haven't discovered one yet, if there is. Uh, that certainly seems like it would be something that would be plausible for this game, that they would have some way of supplying units that are having some trouble with that. There's a couple more big units sitting behind these ones again, so... It's still going to remain important for me to keep a reserve line to fill in the gaps because he's just going to throw more and more at me all the time. I think I'll start shifting these guys over this way. I feel like Culp's Hill's uh, a little more stronger position now than it was. There's not that much threatening me right now over there. Let's see. Yeah, it's, you know what? Let's give it a try. There's only four cavalry here. Um, I'm just curious to see how it goes. Charge! That was brutal. All right, so now we know that's not the way to go with cavalry. I got them completely wiped out. So not the way to use the cavalry. Now we know. Keep the rest of them back here on the flank for now. Bad decision. But now I didn't know, so now I know. All right, pretty solid. Um, not a lot else I can do right now if I want to remain on these strong positions. I do have a unit up here, Shaler's Brigade. And more, yeah, perfect. And we're going to be backed up on the, on the map again. I'll move these guys out of the way just to make sure I can get everybody in. Dang. Okay. A lot of reinforcements. Okay, that's all of them. So good. I think I'll probably run most of them straight down here to reinforce this side, just in case I might get overwhelmed. All right, let's go one more turn. We're on to turn 30. He's continuing to try to shift around these guys. He 
He's also continuing to attack up at Cemetery Hill. Back up, try to get a better bird's eye view of what's happening. All right, I'm guessing the objectives will remain the same. Yeah, they are all the same. All right, so we'll take this last turn, and then we'll wrap things up right there. Uh, more reinforcements arriving for me, so let's rush these guys up as best I can. Oh, man, they're really backed up. I wish there was a better system for getting these units into the field quicker they get backed up on this road and just don't go anywhere after that and that backs up my other reinforcements that are trying to get onto the field okay let's hit this guy i think we're gonna wipe him out wipe him out this turn goodness just cannot get them moved. Okay, maybe we're not going to wipe them out this turn. Still can't fire on them either, so I'm going to move this way. So this whole way, he's rushing troops up into here. He's getting fired on. So it actually has worked out kind of nicely, actually. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Yeah, ammo issues at this point, so it's getting a little harder to inflict casualties. There we go. All right, now on to these units over here. I'm probably going to have to back these guys up, but we'll try firing one more time. There we go. Definitely going to back these guys up. I'm feeling, feeling pretty good about my position right now. Uh, obviously, I've inflicted far more casualties on him than he on me at this point in the game. I hold the much stronger position. I just, I don't see, I mean, unless there's something I don't see, um, an attack that's massing somewhere that I'm not aware of, I feel like I'm in a pretty strong position at this point. A lot of my units haven't even been engaged yet. I guess I, if anything, might worry a little bit about Little Round Top if he's got a lot more units there, but I just don't see him. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, that's episode three. We continue working our way through this thing, and uh, I think it's going pretty well at this point. Uh, maybe you think otherwise, but uh, please hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of my other videos. There will be links at the end. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.